Hey everyone, welcome back. Heat Floor 1x5 Games, and I uh, finally, finally got back from vacation and work, you know, travel and all that fun stuff. Picked up my Modern Horizons boxes, and well, this is my very first Modern Horizons opening. We're just going to dig right into it. I'm pretty excited about it. As many of you know, I don't like spoilers, so I've tried to avoid some of the openings and all of that fun stuff. It's a little difficult to do right now. And of course, I did want to research it a little bit and see what our good hits could be. So we got Modern Horizons Discover Greatness. Ooh. Modern format is defined by possibility a deep card pool and a vast shifting metagame mean that new strategies are constantly emerging and evolving. Why not make a good thing even better? Modern Horizons brings you a collection of powerful cards designed specifically for Modern, offering a draft experience like no other, plus the chance to bring exciting new decks. New opportunities are on the horizon. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Oh, oh, we got some art. Oh, let's see what we got. Let's uh, slide this over here. See what we got. Oh man, that's awesome. Whew. That is awesome. <clears throat> man, they put so much detail in this artwork. And of course, I. Uh... Oh, it looks like it says the same thing on the internal package here, which is pretty nice. The art is on the back side, though. That particular art. Alright, and then we got this, this cool display here. Some gold packages. That was lifted up. Make sure there's nothing underneath that. Alright, so I'm going to split these into thirds. Roughly. Packs look great. Love the artwork on those. Now I do know that the uh, was it the zero pull tab? What's going on? I do know these are backwards, so we'll get a token, land, and uh, possibly foil here, and then there's a new art card. So there's our token, there's our art card, and I believe there's I want to say there's 36, I think it tells me. Oh, 54, okay. 54 of those. It's going to be interesting. First full land, snow-covered plains. And then we go right into our rare, which is Future Sight. If I remember correctly, we still have a possibility to get a foil or a mythic. No. Munitions Expert. Sadistic Obsession. And our first uh, uncommon land, Baron Moor. And then we get into our commons. I'm just looking at these. Reign of Revelation. Man, that one's beautiful. Um, my uh, Savage Swipe, that's cool. The owner at Second Star was giving me shit. He goes, because um, I pre-ordered 2020, of course, which comes out in just a couple weeks. He's like, you gonna actually play this time? Ha ha ha. Lava dart, that's a good one. Ha 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 ha. I know, I get a lot of shit for not playing. I've been thinking about it, though. The problem is, I don't have anyone I can learn from in the house. Learn with. Oh, there we go. Nice foil soldier token. And that makes it a little more difficult for me to learn and keep up with. Snow-covered island, that's a good, good one. Oh, and then we got another foil. Okay, so you get you have the possibility of two foils. Wart Eye Witch. And she's creepy. All right, nice land there. Water, Waterlog Grove, I think, is worth a 
handful of dollars, but I will put that aside for my collection. Talisman of Resilience. I should have looked into that. Uh, pay one life, add green or blue, sacrifice waterlogged, grove if tapped. All right. Talisman of Resilience. Um, Zalfrin Decoy. And a Grave Shifter. Creepy looking bastard there. Pyrophobia. I don't think any of the uh, commons are worth anything. When I say anything, keep in mind I'm looking for anything uh, essentially a dollar and above. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, so anyways, I, I do intend to play Magic the card game one day right now. For now it's just all online. And even then it's been a it's been difficult because if you start to win or someone feels like they're in a losing position, they just log off. And you know, just time wasted. Snow covered forest. And prismatic vista. There you go. That's another uh Gosh, I want to say that's 50. Oh, I got two lands in a row. Secluded Step. Put those two aside. I want to say that's 15 bucks. And then Tuco Cultivator and a Ruination Rider. For our uncommons. Mind Rake. That's nice. I'm not sure how I feel about the feel of the cards. They feel slightly different. It's almost like there's that Ward Eye Witch. It's almost like the back is waxier than the front. Like the front is more of a a cardboard feel. And this is more like it has a um, wax coating on it. Alright, I'll start cutting through these a little bit faster. Just want to take a look at those packs. A few packs in the beginning. I forgot to see if the serial numbers were all the same. Goblin. Pretty cool token. I've been getting some really good art, actually. No no duplicates yet. Snow-covered stamp. A swamp stamp. <laughs> nice. Plague Engineer for our rare. It's so backwards. I'm used to doing it the other way. Soul Herder. Hollowhead Sliver. And King of the Pride. All right. It's just so weird. It's so weird to go backwards. I didn't like that with Ultimate Masters either. Spirit. <laughs> That's a creepy piece of art. Uh, Snow Covered Plains and our first mythic, the first sliver. All right. That's a great hit. That's a beautiful hit. Watcher for tomorrow. Ice Hide Golem. And Tribute Mage. That's interesting. Let's see. Let's just double check real quick. Are these all the same? North Carolina. 90441. Alright. Man, I'm moving kind of slow. I feel a little rusty. After 10 days being off the camera. Shapeshifter. Went to Chicago, Schaumburg for um, Schaumburg Renaissance for the Lego Brick World Chicago. Um, when I say Lego, oh, oh, yes! Jesus Christ, I was totally distracted. Season Pyromancer Foil Mythic. Hell yeah. Ooh, that. Oh, I don't know the price on that, but I know, I know he's. Worth something on his own, in his own right. And another Mythic. Unbound Flourishing. Alright. Hey, those are good hits. And Undead Augur. Anyways, it's it's not uh, sponsored. No, it is sponsored by LEGO, but it's not a LEGO trademark convention. I don't know how you would put that. It's a, it's a private organization that puts it on that Lego sponsors um, in a bunch of builders come out 
we had close to a thousand this year, if I remember correctly. Snow covered island. Mirrodin besieged. Throws of chaos. Splicer skill and ravenous giant. Oh, he's cool. I like him. And the chick with no pants. The chick with no pants gets an honorable mention in my binder. Anyways, about a thousand builders this year. And uh, just a ton of displays. ton of beautiful displays. And I'm sorry, the sun's coming through now, of course, which is going to screw me up. Uh, foil bear. I might have to uh, pause for a few minutes while the sun continues to set here. Snow-covered plains. Or a cordial vampire. He's like, hey, come on in. Let's get some of that. No thanks, dude. Cultivator, talisman of hierarchy, and tranquil thicket. I'm going to look up those lands later because I know uh, the rares are usually worth a few dollars. The uncommons, not so much. I typically keep a land set in my binder uh, just for continuity. Illusion. But I'm starting to rethink that as I run out of space. Snow-covered mountain. Area of flame. Everdream. Oh, man. Can I get that in foil, please? Etchings of the Chosen and Wing Shards. So, what was I saying? Brick World was amazing. It's always amazing. I, that was my 10th year there. Um, supposed to have been my 11th, but we had to cancel one year. Either way, I go out there. It's like a huge family reunion. And so I had the... Uh, what I call the Brick World Blues after afterwards. Snow Covered Plains. And a Cloud Shredder Sliver. AKA Pterodactyl. Talisman of Resil Resilience, Grave Shifter, and Ingenious Infiltrator. Round that one out. And so yeah, I had the, the Brick World Blues for a little while. But I I am I'm ready. I'm ready to build again. I have a dozens of ideas, which is another byproduct of going to Brickworld. Ooh, man, that's a cool bear. Snow-covered swamp and a squirrel's nest foil uncommon. And, all right, fiery islet. Beautiful. Tap, pay one life. Add water or is that? Well, I think that's fire. Oh, well, duh, duh. It's fiery. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, one tap sacrifice fiery islet. Draw a card. Generous gift. Wall of blossoms and hollowhead silver. Sliver. I always want to say silver. So yeah, I have dozens of ideas. Uh, I gotta get my Lego Studio up to speed. It was very difficult to build in for the show. I did two builds, two um, uh, foil spider, two builds I'll mention here. The others were more for show goers or uh, people who registered for Brickworld. Snow covered forest. And Lightning Skelemental. That's that's actually a cool name. Lightning Skelemental. Feaster of Fools. Birthing Bows. And... What? I, I don't even know how to say that. And a Putrid Goblin. Goblin. I kind of know how to say that. Stupid son. Pausing. Okay, sorry about that. I uh, The sun was just getting annoying and I had to cover up there. It's just a quick little pause. Elemental. One of the reasons why I've been 
considering going down to the uh, studio. Tectonic re reformation. Beautiful. Oh, man. Kaylin wants that. I know she does. She loves Rudolph. She loves reindeer. Kaylin, if you watch my video and you give me a thumbs up or comment, you will get the saddled rhyme stag. I'm going to put him aside just for you, sweetheart. All right. Firebolt. And that one dude, I'm not going to even embarrass myself. Announcing. Pronouncing. I've considered taking this, you know, production down to the Lego studio, which is essentially like a basement. Not really. We're in Arizona. I don't even know if there's such a thing in Arizona. Oh, there's the sword. It's so beautiful. I want the sword in foil. Snow-covered island. Um, It's more like... Just a uh, walled off section in the garage. Poshlik Mons. But it's brick. Cunning Invasion, Talisman of Curiosity, and Squirrel Nest. So it might help with sound. It would obviously help with the sun. But I already have a studio. Like, I have this set up. It's all. I have the space for it here. If I move this down to the Lego studio. Then I lose space for Lego, so it's a, uh, there's a lot of pros and cons I got away here. Shapeshifter, for the time being, we're staying up here until I can make a decision. Snow-covered forest. Mist Syndicate Naga, for our rare. Secluded Step, that's a lamp, I can't remember if I put that aside or not. Lesser Manicore, and another Firebolt. Oh, shenanigans like that so that's where we're at with that in terms of what I built for brick world before the Sun so rudely interrupted me while it was setting I built two builds that of consequence for you guys the rest of the builds were for um, the other folks I display with you know for their benefit and mine, Snow Covered Mountain. Hall of Hilliard's Generosity, if I remember right, this is one of the lesser lands. Not worth much, but uh, still a land nonetheless. Abominable Tree Folk and Valiant Changeling. And the two builds that you guys would recognize is I built the Mormon Temple in San Diego. If you've never seen it, look it up. It's just this brilliant, white, very modern building. Um, since I grew up in that area, it's, you know, I drove by it a lot when I was growing up. And even when I moved, there's a skeletal snow-covered swamp. And a foil, another foil. Oh, foil, foil shenanigans. Perfect. This is actually pretty fitting for me. Endling. For a rare... Face, di face of Divinity, Sling Gang <laughs> Lieutenant, oh man, that's right, that's the one with the, ah, oh, that's right, I have I did see this spoiler, freshly promoted to First Rock, Zaz was eager to make an impact, <laughs> he's got a shit-eating grin on his face, he's like, do it, Thundering Dijin, so that turned out really well. Uh, if you're on our Instagram or the Twitter, you might have seen it. Actually, I can't remember if I posted a finished version. I'll have to uh, dig up some pics and do that. The other was a group collaboration. Goblin. With a with virtual lug. Which is a lug that I've been... That I helped found and then have been... Not in and out per se, but just sometimes I help... More years than ever than others. Snow covered island. And on thin ice. There you go. Poor dudes out to sea. That would suck. Regrowth, sadistic obsession, and Urza's rage. And he looks kind of pissed off. And this year we did a group 
collaborative of the Princess Bride, where we built all types of scenes and things depicting the film. I got to build the ship scene where they where he's being chased by the man in black, shapeshifter. After they they take Princess Buttercup, snow covered planes and astral drift. Yeah, it's alright. Looks okay. Blizzard Strix, Talisman of Creativity, and Factor Fiction. Uh, how many talismans are there? I'm going to have to look that up. Maybe I'll get them all. So I built the uh, ship scene. It turned out phenomenal. The entire build did, but I was super proud of what I put out. I have to ship my Lego builds to Chicago. Elemental, tough guy. It's like some dude you meet it, you know, after he came out of the bar and he found a stick on the ground. I'm gonna kick your ass. Snow covered forest. Winds of abandon. Talisman of conviction. I don't think I have that one yet. Goblin matron. She's pretty. <laughs> Glacial revelation. As I was saying. I have to ship all of my builds out, unless I'm driving out, which is a 27 hour drive. I typically don't do that unless I have a large build to show, which I did not. Foil Squirrel, maybe next year. Creepy Toad, Snow Covered Swamp. So I spend the first few days rebuilding my shit, Genesis, and I was happy that everything rebuilt very well. Dismantling Blow. Crypt Rats and Or Scale Guardian. So much so that I was able to finish them both in one, one day, actually, this time. That was a relief. Ah, these packs open weird. I'm not used to them opening all weird like that. Bird token. Ooh, cool ninja with claws. Snow-covered planes. Everyone's like, this, that's so-and-so. What the hell's wrong with you? Merit Lod Lodges Slumber? Scale up. Rebuild. Twisted Reflection. Okay. Oh, and then the Venomous Changeling. Okay, I'm not, I'm not doing so hot on time. I'm actually... I think I'm talking too much. Soldier... Must be talking too much. A cool skeleton dude. Snow covered forest and a cave of temptation foil land. That's nice. And Sarah the Benevolent. Mythic. Beautiful card. There's Rudolph, uh, Rainbow Pack, and Forgotten Cave. Another changeling. I thought they were all 20... Is there 36 packs? I thought there was only 24. Maybe I'm wrong. Seems like a lot. Zombie. Creeper dude. Snow-covered mountain. I'm gonna put these here because it's easier. Spiteful sliver. Nice. Wait. That's not the good one, is it? No, can't be. I can't be that lucky. Shatter Assumptions. There's the creepy dude, uh, drunk dude with the stick, and exclude. Alright, last stack. I only have six minutes of video. That means I must have a bunch of video I haven't uh, worked my way through yet from Shapeshifter from Brickworld. Devastation, Snow Covered Mountain, Kaya's Guile, she's like, what up yo, I'm gonna stab you, First Slivers Chosen, did I get a First Sliver, oh I did, shit, I got, <laughs> I did get, the... man I'm not paying attention, and I just put that in the wrong stack, this is getting out of hand, 
I'm gonna move that over that way. Okay. Five minutes. We're gonna get cut off. Don't care. Force of Despair just got that. That's nice. Goblin Flame, Wall of Blossoms, and uh, Alpine Dude. He's kind of cool. Is that swinging through the trees? Oh, and a Torque. Husker. Foil Illusion. That guy was, had a creepy smile. Foil Rot Widow Pack. God damn, the teeth are foiled. That's not nice. Unsettled Mariner. And a lovable sliver. Good Fortune Unicorn. And a Web Weaver. Changeling. The unicorn looked really nice. Shapeshifter. That dude. Island. Altar of Dementia. Oh shit, we could use that in real life, right? Lonely Sandbar. Well, only if it cures dementia. It's not that you will go mad, it is that you will beg for madness. Okay, never mind. That's not the one we need. Uh, Lava Belly Sliver again. Yes, I, I know I call them something else. Glacial Revelation. I was just teasing. Some people don't get jokes. I got jokes for days. That's why, you know, Nut Punch didn't, did not meet its goal, by the way. Soldier, Nut Punch did not meet its goal. However... That's cool. However, you could still get it if you missed out. Force of Vigor. We will be self-publishing. Sisei. Weather like Captain. We will be self-publishing. There will be limited run. Limited edition. And you will be able to pick it up from our website. So we will have a link. It's going to be on the Kickstarter page to our website. Go there, find the store, or the link to the store, or you can also buy it from eBay if you wish. Okay, because I know some people have some concerns. Ayala Queen Among Bears. Beautiful card. Secluded Step, Talisman of Conviction, and Rot Widow Pack. Normal. But if you want to buy securely through eBay, you could do that too. Not a problem. Won't hurt my feelings. Golem. Foil. But yeah, self-publishing is the way to go. Goblin Engineer, we've been able to reduce the pricing that way. Um, cunning. A worm. Battle Screech. Uh, of course, it's up front out of my pocket, but in the end... Uh, we all get to win because I get to reduce the pricing. I don't have to deal with the fees. Oh, hundreds of daggers. Fees put out by Miss Syndicate. Uh, what are they called again? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Snowland. Kickstarter. Kickstarter has their fees. The uh, Fulfillment Center has their fees. The... Uh, What is that? Backer kit has their fees. I mean, we're trying to overcompensate for fees, really, because you have to. So this way we get to dodge all that. Ooh, foil tornado. Like Thor. Force of Vigor. Scale up. And so that's what we'll be doing. And the pricing. I haven't announced the pricing yet. I know what the pricing is going to be, but I have to wait till after the stupid tariffs. Oh, shit, I just bent that one. It's not bent bad. <laughs> I just bent it back. Giver of runes. I'm running out of time. Etchings, a sliver, wing shards. Can I make it? Oh, I'm not going to make it. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, shit. Can I get this last pack done? I don't think so. It's not cooperating. 
five elephant dude hey folks uh gonna splice this one in i uh, i ran out of space because i hadn't processed a bunch of videos from brickworld so i just want to get this in real quick final pack and i didn't god this thing just these tear apart so weird foil zombie i just didn't want to hit it big right because that would be the thing i would Hit the best card in the whole pack, whole box, whole set. That guy's cool. Snow covered swamp, and that's not the one I was thinking of, but still a beautiful card. Sword of Sinew and Steel Mythic. So, see, it was a good reason that I didn't do that. Let's see, when I Okay, I thought I saw something on the card, but it's Vengeful Devil, generous gift. If you like uh, Dumbo, I guess. Dreg Scape Sliver. And Cave of Temptation Land. That's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget, uh, if you want to check it out, Nut Punch, go to uh, 1x5games, 1x5games.com. You can uh, find the details there. And we should have the pricing information online at that time. In about, i sorry, I say that time in about a week. About a week's time. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.